What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Hyper-V, a virtual machine. This will be the first video in a series to help you protect yourself from malware when downloading wallets for new spec mineable coins. So before we get into it, do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. And step number one, you're going to come down to your search bar and you're going to type in system info. And what we're looking for here is to make sure that you have Microsoft Windows 10 Pro or Microsoft Windows 10 Enterprise. If you don't have either one of those, then you probably will not be able to install or use Hyper-V. The next thing is to make sure that you see x64-based PC under system type. Those two are requirements for this functionality. Next thing you're going to do is go back down to your search bar and you are going to type in turn Windows features on or off. Once you have selected that, you should see a list populate here. And what we're looking for is Hyper-V, which you'll notice on mine is already checked, but by default, yours will probably not be. So you need to check that as well as Windows Sandbox. This option may be grayed out for you, and this is typical by default to be turned off. In order to turn this on, you're going to need to get into your BIOS. Now, every PC is different, but there's a really good chance that after restarting your PC during its boot up process, you're either going to spam the F2 key, the F12 key, or the delete button until you get to your BIOS menu. Now, once you have gotten to your BIOS menu, you're going to be looking for something about your CPU performance, I believe. Now, every BIOS is different, but essentially, you need to turn on virtualization. That's what you're going to be looking for there if you do not have this option or it's grayed out. So once you've checked those two, it's going to ask you to reboot your computer in order for the changes to take effect, and you'll just follow those prompts and once your PC is done rebooting, then you should be able to go back down here to your search bar and type in Hyper-V. Now once you select this here, I'm going to expand this window just a little bit, and you should see the name of your desktop. So once you select that, you should not see any virtual machines in here. But we're going to go ahead and select Quick Create. Once we do that, we want to make sure that we go through all of these options to verify that you're selecting the right type of operating system. So you're going to have some choices here. We've got Windows 10, we've got Ubuntu. 18.04, 20.04, or 22.04, and then also a Windows 11 dev environment. Now you can choose whichever one of these you prefer. Um, you know, depending on what wallet you're installing and whether or not they have a Linux version may determine which one of these you want to use. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go with the Windows 10 MSI X package. Now also you have an installation source that you can select. We're going to go ahead and take a look at that. So you can install from an ISO image or a virtual hard disk. Uh, this virtual machine will run Windows and you need to leave that check. You can also change your installation, installation source. We're going to leave it as is for now and select create virtual machine. This process is going to take just a little while, and once it's done, I'll be right back. Okay, now that it's complete, we could go to connect or we can go to edit settings. I want to go ahead and go to edit settings real quick. And what you want to look at here is 
essentially how much RAM, how much memory, how much hard, dri hard drive space you're allocating to this virtual machine. Uh, you want to keep things pretty low so that you're not pulling resources from your regular PC. Now, once you have adjusted these and you feel comfortable with everything, you can go ahead and connect. But before we connect, there's just a few things that I want to show you here. Uh, so one is you can right click and you can start or you can come over here to start. Either one, it's the same thing. Both are perfectly fine. Now, you should see an image here created. Um, and if you need to, let's say, for instance, disable this or delete it, you can also right click it and delete it. So this is what you need to set up your wallets if you're going to be mining GPU or CPU mineable coins and it's new and you're unsure of the developers. This will protect you from any malicious software. You also need to isolate this on your network and uh, we'll go over those things in an additional video later. But for now, let's go ahead and connect to this. We're going to hit start. And there you go. So this is just like setting up any new PC for the first time uh, in Windows. So you're going to select your region and you're going to go through the basic setup process that you would just like any other PC. Now, once you've completed this, you're going to be able to install anything just like you would on your normal PC. And <clears throat> you can also delete this at any point so that you can avoid using additional resources. So when this is running, this is going to be pulling resources away from your normal Windows PC. So you want to make sure to disable this or remove this when it's not in use. Now again, you're going to be running a wallet on this, so you don't want to just simply delete it unless you are prepared with your seed phrase to install it on another device. Anyways, that is all I got for you guys on this particular video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Do me a favor, on your way out, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you guys on the next episode.